Hello and welcome to the Ark Looky Loo. We're gonna have a quickie, although it's gonna last an hour and 14 minutes. <laughs> Maybe longer. This is my first look at Extinction. I don't know anything. I managed to keep myself completely innocent, try not to read anything. I've landed in Sanctuary. And. Um, I've arrived here with my tribe and we're all in different places so right now I'm getting my uh, cat we're gonna go looking on our Talica Leos with our tribe because we're going to get it up close and personal and just check out this map we're gonna take a little tour around all the little places or whatnot and try to stay out of trouble or make trouble I don't know Okay, that's my cat, and this is the middle of the map, and we are meeting up in the center, and that's the rest of my, my troop, my tribe. They're all stinky, stinky boys. <laughs> all right, we're heading out. We're kind of going where the wind, oh, I gotta get some practice in. We're going where the wind takes us. Um, We'll switch places as leaders from time to time. Just whoever wants to look at whatever. What? What? Oh, that is so cute! Oh, wow, it's fast, too. That is a scout. It does lots of cool things. But since I'm doing this at a later time, the voice was recorded way earlier when the extinction just came out. I didn't know what anything was then, but I do now. Alright. We're just checking out the city. It's gorgeous. This is really pretty. I love this kind of environment. Hindered animals. Oh. It's a water fountain. So it looks like there's lots of little water holes to fill bases. But outside it looks kind of nasty. And that's exactly where we're going. Alright. This is a huge gate. <clears throat> the first place we're heading to um, is straight up ahead of the standard animals. Like. We're going to the ice biome. And this is one of the bombs under... Ah! Well, there's wolves. Now, when the way it's set up is the biomes are prototype parts that are still on Earth. We've landed on Earth. And what was that? Something went flashing past. So that's a blue obelisk. So that's where we're headed. And somebody is always fighting. Always. <laughs> Starting some stuff. Turns out these domes are the domes of illusion. Um, looks like we got one of the new creatures over there fighting a magma <laughs> and uh, it's fighting a mammoth. Okay. So who's gonna jump first? Mm, always causing trouble. This is a snow out. Uh, what the heck? Oh, yeah. Uh, kill, kill. Yeah, always watch your back. Yeah. Anybody gonna jump? Wanna go? Wanna stay out of it? Uh, no. 
right in the middle of it. As you can see, the the inside the domes have night and day cycles. Outside of this dome, it doesn't. The stone is an illusion. At least the border edge. <laughs> So it looks like the standard wildlife in here is from the snow biomes. Mammoths, wolves. Okay, let's get up. We're going up and to the blue office. I love the cats. They're so much fun. Good climbers. Yeah, see there's the woolly mammoths. Now, you see those red things in the distance on these poles? Those are the borders of the biome. No, well, actually it's not the border of the biome. It's actually the border of the map. Now this is extremely important. If you don't know anything about extinction, know this. Do not. I repeat, do not go above the map or outside the perimeters of the map. It's instant death. Most of the maps we've had, you had this kind of holographic border that you could kind of rub up against and bang your head on and nothing happened. It just prevented you from leaving. There's no such uh, prevention here. You will go right through it and you will burn to a crisp instant you do get a little fair warning maybe you know but it lasts you've got maybe five seconds and sometimes you get glitched off the map and that's happening so. all right those are the snow owls and the murmurmurs are the two new animals in this biome um this has an arena like area and that's where you summon something I imagine. and as far as I know anybody can come and summon and you can fight with anybody I guess oh that was a snow owl and then my murmur all right like I said this is just a sneak peek now we're back on the border and it's snowing uh, that's a corrupted Terry. He got in somehow. Just, oh, look at us pixelating. <gasps> what happened? <gasps> we're in the wasteland. Now we're going to run to the desert biome. Uh, all my tribe are Germans. Except for me. I'm adopted. German. <laughs> So I'm just going to be talking over them. Unless you understand German, you know, I'm sure you can, but they're just making small talk. Making fun of them. There's an owl. Um, if you're wondering, the cats are all, um, came out of the same, sort of the same litter. They have some, of, they have like different moms, but they have the same dad. And they turned out almost identical stats and looks and everything and it was pretty funny uh, level wise these are bred cats and they are awesome thanks to the efforts of Alcarin and Herber they're our breeders and they do really well I enjoy it. okay we're heading to the up oh. There's the new one of those. Oh, he's bitch slapping. <laughs> oh, he's smacking me in the face. He's slapping everybody in the face. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's got a little spinny. And he's gone. That's a Volanosaur, and it's it's like a little baby uh, machine gun. <laughs> Uh, 
they're everywhere. Oh, toothpicks. Ow, 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 ow. Don't step on them. Ow. Uh -oh. He's being attacked by a Velanosaur. Look at that. Wow. Oh, I forgot. Eevee is here too. All right. So we're making our way to the the obelisk, and what I notice is there's nothing underneath these obelisks. There's no um, teleporter, or nothing. Oh, this is so crazy. Oh shit! Beautiful. Yeah, I fell. Luckily, the cat pretty resilient. Oh, nice. Nice. It was a little chaotic. We were having fun. Okay. We see a hole up there, so looking like a cave. We're gonna go check it out. Oh, this is a cave. Ooh, rubble golems. This is a de the desert cave. I'm gonna check it out. You see the cats shredding a little rubble golem. Rubble lady. Hi. Now you have to remember too that the, the cats grown, so there's a lot of le leveling going on. And another one. Oh, bats! Arthur Pluto. Vein of my existence. I hate them. They shred your armor. Uh oh. Again. Wait a minute. Oh no! Run! Go faster. We can't fight everything. No, we don't want to. Up. Wait, what? <laughs> uh, I'm not going up there. What the hell are y'all doing? And falling. Can you still come here? 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 Can you Alright. Watching these crazy nuts. Alright. Up, up the complicated tree looking rosy thing. I don't know what that is. There's a lot of that around there. Can't tell between structure and growth. And There's a lot of pixelation early in the game. You remember these were before any updates. This is literally when it came out. Oh no! 
Okay. Don't. All right. I fell Turn. Fire. Turn. Fall Hello. down. Go. Hello. Come here. Bones. When in doubt, go down. And try up. <laughs> uh, that's frustrating. Is everybody up? Taking breaks, eating. All right, now we're looking at the boss arena summoning area. I guess I have no idea. No idea. I'm assuming there's an artifact in here too. I don't know. More rock columns. More fighting. Oh, the windows. It looked like the overseers. You can see some more hexagon patterns, so we know we're getting some armor. Now, we're not doing any fights or anything like that today. This is just a quickie. Um, let's you can see this place is full of nasties. <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh. Wow, I just finally get to the end of this thing. More bad. There are paths that go down, so if you're walking it with the Rex or something, I guess. We should be able to walk this path. Water. Ah, and there's a red drop. Oops. Too slow. <sighs> okay. Up, 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 up. I feel like I spent the whole show going up. There we go. All right. I think we're at the top. We're at the pinnacle. Yes. Some kind of summoning ah, arena terminal. So this is the Desert Titan summoning blah 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 whatever. Alright, now we're in the wasteland. Sorry, I just skipped over some stuff. We were in here like four hours, so... Yeah, what? what? Never turn your back on the boys. They will be up something quicker. Now you see that red lamppost up there? Now, when we first came here, I had no fear of it. I didn't know what it was. You hear that crackling? That's when you're too close. It's your skin. Crackling. Okay, this is a city that's kind of right next to that biome. You can see the, the snow one behind me. This is the map edge, and this is what happens when you're stupid and don't know anything. I'm thinking, I want to see up here. I want to see. I had no idea what I was risking. Uh-huh. See what happened? That's what happens at the map edges. And if you're on a flyer or something and you don't get back immediately, immediately, 
You're, it's instant death sometimes. You just fly out and boom, you're dead. These are the city terminals, and they seem to be kind of everywhere. I've saw I've seen them in every place. Oh, and there's some notes. So this map has plenty of notes to get. And we hear from Mila. Me and the Mia. There's the, the biome in all its glory. In the red markers. That's the border. Go beyond that. We had to take a little... And here's another note. Another note in the city. This is the uh, Diana note, as you'll recognize it from Abbers. Um, yeah, we had to stop here for a little while. One of our, our boys ate a corrupted nodule to see what it was like. It was instant death because apparently it's polymer. <laughs> so, yeah, we sat up here for a little bit and took a break and just checked it out. This is a very nice place for a mega base, for sure. Because the backside is completely protected. So now that's where we're going. We went through the snow and we're just kind of going to bring the map and go around. So we're going to follow the border. Ooh, corrupted rock drake. Yes. Get it down. Get it down. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Nom, nom, nom. They look funny without their feathers. And here's more wasteland. So that's the um, desert biome that we were in earlier. Okay, so what's next? Oh, ne. That's a corrupted giga. Uh, don't think we're going that way. Let's... Oh, hell no. Go this way. Yeah. Trees or whatever, crystals. You got funky wood and blue crystals. And there's a corrupted uh, Terry. They attack everything. So, you basically got a huge wasteland, and in the middle you've got a sanctuary city, which we spawned in. Oh, there's the gas bag! You have to growl the boys. You have to. Oh. Oh. Puffy, he likes me. <laughs> Gas bags are awesome. Very, very cute. Very cute. Okay. Okay. So, let's see. We have the wasteland, we have the sanctuary city, we have the snow biome, and we have the um, desert biome that we've explored a little bit so far. No, we're not jumping off of there. So, we'll jump off the side here. I don't jump there. It's too high. Here. You can dismount. Wow, that's so knapp. I have a platform, then I have to go up. By the helicopter. Not jumping there. Hello. Can we not go there again? It turns oh, out there okay. are lots of these little areas where you can build bases. I thought yeah, it was really cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Talking music. Right. So much useless. <laughs> <laughs> they go where they want to go. Another base area that looks really cool. We actually headed to the desert yeah. already. There are nuts. You see how he dismounted? I don't need to do it. I hit a tree, so I'm cool though. But you can see the animals are getting damaged. 
these guys can jump really well. Okay, there's a purple corrupted something other. And there's a corrupted stego. Yeah. Gas bag. Ooh. Ooh, Rex. Rex. Watch me. Three, four. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, ich glaube, das ist Alright, here's some more wasteland. And we're following along the, the, the border. And on the left, what appears to be a completely humongous crater. So, I'm going to put that out here right now. I think the Earth got hit by a meteor. Be careful, there's holes in this map. I think, schätze them out. Check them out. We need to go in the forest, I guess. Okay, as you can see, we're kind of making our way around, so. Now, this is the sulfur pools, and it looks beautiful. But this water is poison. We're like, who's going to go first? Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, it works just like the pink water does in Aberration. Instead of it being radiation, it can cause the damage. It's poison or it's actually boiling springs. Everything is really hot on this end. Here's some spinos. There's regular and corrupted. Alright. Hey. Echoes on parade. Where are we going? Uh, I see a fungal hyper bit. What? I'm going to die, man. I'm going to die. Oh, we're going right now. Or what? No, I would like to go there. Straight. Uh -huh. This is so much fun. I love the cats. They're really fast and they can. Do everything but fly, just about, and they're very powerful. We are underneath the structure, regular water. Looks like. Um, we double back. And okay, so they want to go up to on top of the structure. Go do that. Ah! What? Ah! Look, I'm pretending to be scared. I'm not scared on this cat. This cat can handle it. Oh. Plus, we've got a whole mob of them. All right, here we go. Let's go up top. It's easier to see this from the air, but it looks just like an implant. And that's not water, those are glass panels. This is the coolest place. I would love to have a base here too. I love it. I want that roof. Yeah, it's fantastic. Very, very cool. Alright. According to the map, we can get here quite a bit. Alrighty, let's go. So now we're inching yeah, our way up. Yeah, it looks like it's like a fire burner, Alter. Oh my. Alright. Let's 
Let's keep going. Now, I, I don't think it's any secret. I figured out that a lot of the team members knew what was here and where things were, so they had done a little research already. But I tried to keep myself as... Excuse me. <laughs> as uh, uninformed as possible so I could experience it for the first time. Yeah, right. no. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They were like, cats coming by. There are trikes. This uh, seems to be a more concentrated area for corrupted animals. We had to, we, because we were killing so much, we had to do frequent um, inventory dumps for the cats because they get overloaded. See, easily, easily, one or two cats could, could uh, take them out. Yeah, out there, we Another Reaper. Now the uh, you know, the animals that you attack, depending on how or when you encounter them, as to what their strengths are. Um, red trees and reapers. These are resources you can get. Get crystals from these trees. Here, come on, yeah. Or crystallized sap. Yeah, here, 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 I uh, didn't know about the new kibble thing that they're doing, so it's not completely rolled out, but oh, that's not poison. Nope, regular water. We activated a drop by accident. <laughs> So, like I said, I didn't know anything, and somebody else put up uh, their own shield that would have a safe place to go to. We didn't know what to expect. We knew nothing. Turns out the yellow is a medium drop. There's three levels. Blue is the easiest. Then you got yellow, it's medium, and then you have red, which is hard, and then you do have purple. The purple one is the hardest, and you can determine how long it lasts. Right. There's five waves. Again, you can hear they're making. Uh, I can tell you what's going on. This is prior to the updates. Before, if if you activated a drop and decided I can't handle this and leave and went to your house, they would follow you home. And there was a lot of we have to, uh, people that didn't like that. Before we can do so. I thought it was cool, but that's not any reaper here. Okay, we're all kind of guarding and waiting for something to happen. What we didn't realize is that you have to kill every animal in the wave in order for it. See, some. Okay, that was killed. 
Next wave starts. They get progressively harder. Now you you know to stand that these land in the same place every time, and there's a path. If you guard the paths, there's usually, I think, about three, maybe four paths where they spawn and they come in and try to kill you. You can see them coming. Their goal of these animals is not to kill you. Actually, that's just kind of a side effect for them, but they're coming to kill the shield. And they're chewing on it. You gotta stop them because they eventually they'll get to the drop and then they'll uh, destroy it. So you're def basically defending your loot drop until it's clear. And the first wave they send out maybe a dillo or two, then they start sending out spinos and pinosaurus and raptors and raptors and all kinds of stuff starts coming out. This looks like it was just. Raptors, and Carnos. It's a mob. And they keep coming until you kill every single last one of them. When you do that, then the next wave will start. Here's a tip. If you need to heal between waves, leave one animal chewing on the shield or whatever. Leave it, and that'll give you time. You can take as long as you need and heal, and then kill the last animal on that wave, and then the next wave will start. So, if you still have, you haven't got the all clear. Go around the perimeter of the shield and see if you can find Final. something chewing Final. on it. Because it's usually something Final. small that you don't see. Or there's also flying stuff. So it might be a Terry on the roof and you just don't see it. We ended up putting the uh, personal shield around this one, so... Here we go, here we go. Raptor, if they dismount you, get ready. These guys are way more um, ferocious. They're uh, doing the drop. Look at that. One level 136 is level 200. So it increases in number. And also the level stuff attack. See, there's a Terry. You have to remember, this is the first time for every one of us. Hey, it was the end of it. So we took the shield down that we had set up because it was actually interfering with defending the yellow. One. Okay, here they come. Oh, Arthur Pluro. Yeah, you gotta remember, our service is only to 120. Judge it. These are the highest levels that they're shooting out at us. 
Now we know to set up perimeter. We also try to fight in groups where we would be mate boosted. Taking some damage. They eat a lot of stuff. I should have just piped in front and done it all. Okay, here's the next wave. Now, if you notice if you're fighting inside, you don't make any damage. You have to leave the shield in order to, to fight. To say it's chaotic, fight what you can. Now the cats don't do very well on their own. You need a good little group, male, female, mate boost or whatever. They also had not updated it to get the animals on the path. Weird all. All right. Okay, here they come. This is the last one. Shit. We lost the shield. So what's funny is he was like, come here, come here. And I was already there. Chaos is such that you might get to know And Reapers and Arthros. Oh no! Coming, Reapers are coming. Yep. Level 14. Nice. Oh. Alright. So we were successful. Now comes the fun part. You push the eject the items. Here we go. And those fly out and the little cases fly everywhere. Pick them up, pick them up, pick them up, pick them up. Boop, boop, boop. And it gives you tons of these little poly. Um, I got so excited. No telling. There is a list on the wiki. I want to know what comes out of each drop or what can come out. I love these little uh, poly things. I grabbed as many as I could. Um, yeah. Be careful too when you're picking up stuff. It can be like 14 spike walls or something. You know, it, it may weigh you down. So we all wanted to see what we got. Um, they're all talking about they got um, the cryopods and the best thing ever. We got wooden spike walls, 72 pounds worth. Spike walls? Okay. Um, 
Let's see, I got some sminting paste, two bowls of Kalian soup, a little polymer, got some Kalian soup. Didn't see any blueprints. Cool, free soup. They got flak armor. Blau or Ascendant? Nee, hey, blau. Ich muss einfach Boss gehen, ja? I have a Ingram for a pistol. Ich glaube, das Fungal wood, sap. Oh, all kinds of stuff. I ended up getting a, a blueprint, though. It was, uh. But I don't know if it was from the drop or if it was from one of the animals. That I'd gotten all on the way, I don't remember. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. It was intense, but it was fun. Ah, We're all recovering. But look, you can see that the cats didn't take that much damage, and you can see the stats of the of the cat. They had identical stats starting out. Okay, drop over. We're all recovered. Everything's back to normal. So, that's where we hit it. And, uh, yeah, we're going to the next place. And here we are. It's a little bit further down the road. And it is a huge drop. Holy shit. Sunken forest. We gotta figure out a way to get down there without killing her. At the time, we had no clue how deep it was. It's basically a green ocean. <laughs> and they jump. Because they're crazy. Alright. What are you gonna do? One jumps? We all jump. I'm gonna try for the water. Oh, I'm flying kitty! Ta da! Wow. I hit the water. <laughs> Alright, there's the hole. A different yeah, hole. I don't know. Um, no, I think it's the hole. And there's part. So, we're just gonna check to see how we're gonna get down. Uh, there is a ramp. You can jump or you can go down the ground. Hi, there's lots of options for going down into this area. But like most areas, there is a path down. You immediately start feeling cooler. Yeah, we're out of the wasteland. So this is actually a biome. Technically, there's water right below us. Technically. Like, we're keep going in with it, you know, there. Uh, I'm going down the path. They can do what they like. Yeah, we went straight. Now the path continues around to the left. But the boys say, oh, look. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oi. Are we gonna jump? Boxer always jumps. He's thinking about it. Who's gonna jump first? <laughs> They're tempted. They're tempted. And. We have to remember too, this is before the patch and you're about to see what we came upon. Look at that. I didn't take any damage hardly at all. And look what's in the water. A million beavers. 
Oh, look at all these beavers. Oh my god. Oh, das ist ein Beaver über Oma spawn. Oh ja. Neben dem See eingeschlagen. Now, here I said, don't bite anybody. Now, I guarantee you that these boys, somebody's gonna bite something. I don't know why I thought they would, but they did. Because I was afraid we were gonna get 10 billion beavers. There, nothing to sneeze at. Heilige Scheiße. Wo sollte ich? He did that on purpose. Because they're troublemakers. <laughs> They didn't aggro everybody, so it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I thought every beaver was coming. <laughs> Apparently, the only one in that little group. I had to understand, too, that this was the end of the day. We had been here four hours on this map and just encountering as much of it as we could. This is beautiful. It really is pretty. I liked it a lot. But after Aberration, you know, do I want to live? This whole time I'm scouting. I'm thinking, where do I want to live when I'm on this map? I love the city. I love this underground area. It's really nice. Really, really nice. And there's the... The, oh, yeah. um, blue obelisk, which is actually at the foot of that path that we were wow. we came down. And yeah, it is. It's beautiful. It was wall to wall beavers. It's not like that anymore, though. But it was fun to document. It. All right, everybody. When I turned around, everybody had gone. So I got briefly lost, and they found this. I gotcha. It's a sloth-like animal, and it eats uh, everything, anything. So be careful what you drop, and it makes these. It makes these crystals on its back, which pop out, and it you can program it or whatever to make whatever and. There's a wheel of possibilities in each gacha, maybe you have a different combination of that wheel. So, a lot of you, you'll have to look it up. I'll just tell you that you can't really have more than two because they get sad and they don't produce. But that was our first look, and I thought it was really cool. You definitely want to get one because they drop some magnificent loot. Alrighty, here we go. I love these cats. This is so much fun. This, this was way better. <laughs> okay. More beaver apocalypse. Uh, what do you think? Who's gonna jump first? <laughs> Always. Um, yeah, Herbert. He's lost his shirt, by the way, from the beaver. Something attacked him. I don't know what. Don't touch anything. Let me just get out of the water. Beavers are so, so, so nasty. Are we leaving? Oh, no. He did that on purpose. Yeah, he bit the beaver. I'm going to try to get a, in the back and look. Oh my gosh. We ended up hurting them. Like you do to make a water ball. <laughs> Just eating them as they came down the path. Luckily, it only aggroed about, I don't know, looked like about 30 or 40 of them at a time. Yeah, so we were riding around and there was updates that came out actually. There are a couple of caves down here. <laughs> artifacts and stuff. <laughs> Glitch. Glitch. 
think I love art. We had received notification that there was an update. And so we decided that we got to make camp. A little temporary camp so we could log out. And log back in. People are getting tired. We've been doing this for about four or five hours. Look how beautiful this is. Isn't it fantastic? These white fluffy flower things. Oh, there's a car now. But for the most part, nobody bothered us down here. There are some raptors and cornos and dillo, uh, you know, just the normal little stuff, but. This is an, I would think, an excellent place to spawn when we start a map. I think we're coming on the area where we decided to stop and log off. And this is basically all the tour that we took. Um, yeah. So I think we will end the episode here. If you like this video, Please hit the like and subscribe and smash that bell to get notifications of my next upload. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye!